Battlescape. Okay, I uh, looked on eBay and um, $345 for an unopened box of Battlescape right here. That is incredible. Um, the amount of money that people want for these old vintage 40k things is, is incredible. It really is. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just it's just crazy. Um, Kevin, thank you for the awesome comments about the tanks. That it's <laughs> I did take them back from the brink. That's for sure. And um, and Brian, this is yeah no this is um. Of course, I added a bunch of other stuff to this. It, like, this was from the, um, oh, that was from the, uh, the third edition set with the, uh, Dark Elves. Dark Elves. Uh, the, um, <laughs> uh, what the hell are they? D D D is that what they call them uh, now? Um, Dark Elder or something like that. And then they changed it to Drukari. So, um, yeah, this is this was a pretty cool model. Um, terrain piece. I did a few things to it to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Uh, I put the, the bottom in there with the mesh, the mesh bottom. Uh, threw a couple extra things on it. And... It still needs a lot of work. I put the little graveyard for the Imperial Guard there and some other things here and there. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. It needs to be touched up. The trees need to be redone a little bit. And I don't know. We'll see. Um, and what else we got? So yeah, so that's, that's the Battlescape. And I can't believe how much money this costs now. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. It's, it's insane. But, I mean, it was a pretty cool piece of terrain. Uh, at that time, I really didn't want to, um, destroy any of my rhinos just to make, uh, some, uh, terrain pieces. But I did do, um, I did make a few of these. I gave them away, but this is actually a, a rhino that I made out of foam board. And that's what this is. This is a foam board rhino. Um, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's a foam board rhino to uh, match the uh, land raider there. So, yeah, it was pretty neat. It's silly, but I made like five of those things, and I gave away a lot of them. So I think I gave away like four of them. Um, and look, at I got these. Look at these old Terminators. So I was doing that. I was. Um, I picked up some of the uh, some of the Terminators from uh, the Leviathan set, and I was comparing the size of these terminators the size difference is it's pretty good I mean look at that yeah they're up there back to back look at that so yeah that size difference is this is there ain't it so he stands a little he stands a little bit taller. I don't know if you can see that. Can you make that out? The size difference in that. So, and that's that's pretty neat. You got the old plastic one right there, and then you got these with the newer ones. And then these, this is a metal one. That's a the old metal one. And these are plastics. So 
That's where you can see the size difference right there. And look at that. Look at that marine. So if you use them, yeah, it's like crazy size, huh? So that's that's the uh, Terminators. And I wanted to show you one more thing, and I forgot what it was. I just can't remember what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, was it this terrain piece? Do you guys remember this? That was also an old um, Games Workshop terrain piece right there. I had that as well. All right. Uh, it's a little bit late. I just got home from work. But I got to redo these trees. Uh, we got the mine. So there's a few things I got to do to this to spruce it up a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, I I was I got this when I first got back into the hobby, and I can remember. Wait till you see this. This thing is so bad. Um, where is he? Where is he? Is he? He's around here somewhere. Here he is. Look at this guy. Look at how bad this guy is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Captain Cortez from the Imperial Fist. Uh, I'm sorry, the Crimson Fist. Oh my god, he's just... <laughs> uh, he's kit-bashed together. Oh man. But I'll, I'll keep him. You know, it's like, okay. Whatever. He is what he is. So the, yeah, so it's, it's a nice little terrain piece, and you guys remember those right there. That came out of the uh, the Dark Elder set with the uh, the uh, Space Marines, the third edition Space Marines. Uh, it was Black Templars that they had on the box uh, over here. This third edition down here. Right here, that one right there. So we'll, we'll I'll pull them out tomorrow when I got more time. But uh, these were these were all third edition right here. I'm doing a um, a Blood Raven company right there, and then we have the Sons of Dawn right there. So we have the Black Templars. We got the Imperial Fist, we got Crimson Fist. Uh, how the Ultramarines got in there, I do not know. But we do have some more Imperial Fists over there. So this is all third edition stuff. We got more Ultramarines over here too. So. Yeah. All right, so uh, I think I'll call it a night. I head off to bed and um, yeah. So yeah, so that's the battlescape. Not too bad. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool piece of terrain. I can't believe it's three hundred bucks now. That is insane. Insane. And I got this little piece of terrain left over from uh I think it was Vor. Faza Corporation 4. Yep, right, there it is right there, if you can see that. This came from Vor. That was a pretty cool piece of terrain. All right, guys. That's it for now. I get tired. Yeah, good night. Guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks for your comments. Be good to each other. It's a crazy world out there. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.